In this video, we're going to take a look at the pH of salts. Before we do that, though, I want to go over a very interesting relationship that will actually help you solve many problems that involve the pH of salts. And this relationship is something that we've sort of seen before, but not quite. So you'll remember that there is a KW, your, dissociate, your, um, your auto ionization constant for water. Remember that water, because it's it can act as both an acid and a base, it self-ionizes. And so you see this relationship here. You see H3O plus plus OH minus. So within a sample of water, some of the particles will be transferring hydrogens to the other molecules. And so you get H3O plus and OH minus. And you can write an equilibrium expression for this. And so if you do that, you get K is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus. And that special K is called a KW. It's called KW. And it's always equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14. And so if you know the concentration of H3O plus, you could figure out the concentration of OH minus by simply doing the KW divided by your H3O plus, for example. Now, other, another relationship that, that also exists from this is that of KW being related to KA and KB. The KW, this number here, can actually be find by, found by doing the Ka times the Kb for uh, a weak acid and its conjugate base. And I want to show you how that's derived and why that relationship exists. The idea is that if you know the Ka, then you can figure out the Kb because you have Kw. So you could, for example, do that Ka or Kb is equal to Kw over Ka. Or you could also do that Ka is equal to Kw over Kb. These are uppercase Ks, by the way. So these relationships are useful, especially if you don't have a Kb value found in your table or a Ka value found in your table, but you have maybe one value only. You can find the other by using that relationship. So where does that come from? Let's take a look at a simple example. Here we have example one, the Kb for hydrazine. Um, N2H4 is 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6. What is the Ka for the conjugate acid? So what we know is that Kw is equal to Ka times Kb. We want to find, we have the Kb for hydrazine, so we want to find the Ka. So Ka can simply be Kw over Kb. And so that's going to be 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 divided by 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And that'll give us, so 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And we get about 5.88, and it keeps going, times 10 to the power of negative 9. Or to two sig figs, about 5.9 times 10 to the power of negative 9. So we did our Kw divided by our Kb to find the Ka to two sig figs. So that was an application of that relationship, but again, I didn't really show where it came from. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a I'm going to write an equation for hydrazine, the base, in water. Okay. Um, so it's a base, and this is not part of the problem. I'm just showing you where where this this relationship comes from. I'm going to mix it with water. 
And so if it's a base, it's going to um, uh, accept a proton. So I'll get N2H5 plus aqueous plus OH minus. And you can make a KB expression for this. So I'm going to make a K, KB expression for this. So we'll say KB is equal to concentration of OH minus times um, N2H5 plus over uh, N2H4. So it's a KB expression because this is acting as a base. And I made OH minus, so I made a KB expression. So now I'm going to make the equation for the conjugate acid reacting in water. So if the conjugate acid was reacting in water, you would get this. So if that's the so this is uh, NH, N2H5 plus, it's going to give away an H, so you'll get N2H4 again. And then since it gave away an H to water, H3O plus. And so for that, I'm going to write a Ka. I'm going to get H3O plus times N2H4 over N2H5 plus. And now I'm going to multiply these two things together. I'm going to multiply the, uh, these two expressions together. <clears throat> so if I do that, I get OH minus times N2H5 plus over N2H4 times, so this is the KB times the Ka, which is H3O plus, times the N2H4 over the N2H5 plus. And when you multiply these together, you'll notice things start to cancel out. Right, you have N2H5 plus at the bottom and the top, cancel out. N2H4 at the top and bottom, cancel out. And what you're left with, and I know I don't have a lot of room here, but what you're left with is Ka times Kb. That's what we multiply together. You're left with the OH minus times the H3O plus. And if you remember, OH minus times H3O plus is your Kw. Therefore, Kw is equal to Ka times Kb for a conjugate acid base pair. And so that's where that relationship comes from. Um, it's going to be important to remember this relationship because some of the problems where we solve for the pH of salts will require you to use that relationship. So it's just another formula to add to your little repertoire, your toolbox, um, to use in different circumstances. In the next video, we're going to take a look at uh, the pH of salts, how to find the pH of salts, um, under different and how to find a pitch of salts under different scenarios.